This is the Aurora 9 dead band issue test. I'm using a high tech 65MG, a 7 channel Optima receiver. And in my case, the left aileron has the dead band, and the right aileron is fine. We'll move it to the right first, all the way to the end. And as you can see, the servo follows the stick all the way to the physical end of the transmitter. But if we go to the left side, and you can see there's quite a bit of stick movement here, and the servo does not move. My elevator and rudder channels are fine. It's just the aileron. That's the issue. The settings inside the radio are, are vanilla. As you can see on my dual rate for aileron, it's 100%. If we go over to endpoint, it's 100%. Now as far as the total movement goes, people were asking does the servo actually get to the end versus your right side, and no it does not. So you're actually losing travel. There's more travel to the right than there is to the left.